God is always talking. It's our choice to listen. We are down in Port Aransas in Texas. It's my 50th birthday today. And we're at a hotel up there. And then down this road is the beach down there. And it was about uh, 6.15 this morning. Uh, I just woke up and I heard the Holy Spirit say, come and walk with me. Come and sit on the beach with me. So I got up and I got dressed and I came down to the beach and we've been sitting there talking about what 50 looks like and just talking about the day. But I realized that the first person I spoke to needed to be him and he wanted to be the first person that I spoke to on this day. So there is something beautiful, but we can have all the discussions and the questions and the, the debates about whether you hear God and how to hear God and all of that. But the, the deepest thing is knowing that the desire of his heart is to spend time with you. It's the most beautiful thing to wake up on my birthday and the first voice I hear is his saying, come and sit with me. So he's always talking. We get the choice to listen because I could have turned around and gone back to sleep again. But I've learned that it is far more beautiful when he invites like that to come and sit with him than it is to go back to sleep. So that's your invitation today is to when you hear him, even the slightest little thing, come do this with me or look at this with me. Look at the sunrise that I prepared for you. Whatever it is that you get to spend that time with him is the most beautiful, beautiful thing to do. He is always talking. You get the choice to listen. I encourage you.